most so it's definitely. It's a flying castle, but it's not flying at the moment. Is that the deal? Uh, it, it is. It is hovering, but it is not. It is not flying. Uh, Word how is. How far off the ground is it? It's well. It's. It has well, a it's ramp. Across a bridge, it's well, really. It's, down, it's right? floating in the ravine. It's it's uh -huh. it's floating in the ravine. You know, and you can okay. you know you can see the the earth kind of you know hovering above the bottom of the ravine. And it, you know like like I said, there's the the ramp that's to the south that that just heads up to the entryway of the castle and here's the big ramp down here how often does the castle leave harnessed does it does it, does it leave does it come back is it periodic or sometimes what? it's once a week sometimes it's it hasn't actually left for a week but uh where it is it it will be leaving today at some time Oops. well all aboard that's a fine how do you do what do you guys think? Yeah, I'd, like to ask, moving. I'd like to ask the friendly barkeep if there's uh, any chance we could score some uh, cultist robes from him. <clears throat> Did you guys? You guys? Don't you guys still have some? Yeah, I think we should probably still have cultist robes. Yeah, some I of four. us do, but some of us don't. Hmm. I would say the Terra doesn't. I do. Beth, no, she's she she's got one. Yeah. Oh, she she's was a in the cultist yeah. outfit when she yeah. showed up. She has I guess a tattoo we're all, we're all good to go with cultist robes. Yeah, she's she's got a she's got robes. In fact, yeah, she does. And I remember I I, I could have swore Silverclaw, Zelos, and Krivgar, you guys and Tiberius. I thought you all had robes. Yeah, absolutely, we, we have robes. <laughs> sure. You guys don't remember taking them from the from the caves? Yes. Yeah, I guess we did. Yeah. Great been a mothballs for some time, but great character sheet management. Come out soon. I remember them saying they took them, but they never put them down. <laughs> Ask friendly barkeep. What would you? <laughs> is there anything that, that you might you might know that we definitely wouldn't that would help us filtrate that castle? Or get out of it just in case. Well, if you if you miss the if you miss the flight uh, in the stables, they keep they do keep several wyverns that can fly passengers that that do miss the castle. I do I do know that they have several of the of the wyverns there. But usually they're they're under pretty good pretty good watch from uh, a few of the captain's men, and his name is uh, Captain Othelstan. He's he's pretty much the ringleader that's been keeping us under tabs for the last year. Is a captain of the cultists? Yes, he he, he is a uh, he is an associate of the cultists for sure. How many um, cultists are usually left in the town after Castle leaves? I, I don't know. I, I, I would, I would be careful of who you speak to. You, you don't know what kind of silent effort they have. You know, we've had several of the other villagers. They've, they've actually openly expressed their dislike for the cultists uh, and. Needless to say, they've all but disappeared, never to be seen from again. So I, I could just imagine where they are. I would expect that the cultists would be in and out of the tavern fairly frequently. Do they also do business with the other businesses in town? Besides the stables where the wyverns are kept. Uh, do they do business with Wheelwright? No, Gundare hates the sons of bitches, and he's actually openly, openly expressed it a few times. Uh, fortunate for him, he's been one of the lucky ones where uh, the wrong ears haven't heard him say that. Do 
Do you know where the castle goes when it leaves? That I can't tell you. I guess they go to the Well of Dragons, which I, I, I don't know where that is. How long is this castle usually away for? <laughs> A day, two days. I don't think they go very far. So I think we're all thinking the same thing, you guys. Right? Right. We need to get on the castle now. Oh, I, I was thinking get some Cheetos. But yeah, we could do that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get on the let's get on the castle. Although, honestly, I have always wanted to ride a Wyvern. I mean, what is that? Like some kind of a half lion, half flying eagle or something? That sounds fantastic. It's a small dragon. Oh, it's a small dragon. Yeah, then yes. not so much then. Never mind. I think you were thinking of a griffin there. With oh, I was probably thinking of griffin. Sorry. Well, I mean, this guy is all full of interesting fun facts for us. And, uh, Zelos, you pretty much lucked out being able to spot this uh, fellow uh, cohort. But uh, I kind of question us telling everything to everybody we see. Just in case, I we, agree. Let's just, get let's just let's just leave the message then that we're here. We're still on the trail. Let's get our the trail leads robes. to Sky Reach. Let's get let's get decked out, dressed out. Let's you know disguise our weapons, raise the banner, and let's walk through the castle just like we know what we're doing. Then, if we find out where it's going, maybe we can stop that. Uh, we can figure out more about that treasure and <clears> stop <throat> Tiamat from rising. Mm -hmm. Yep. But I still want to crash they never a stop castle. Him. Still want to crash a castle. Just FYI. <laughs> That's definitely going on my bucket list. No, well, man, we still can. See what we can do. Okay, yeah, I guess. I, I, I'd like to see us do something for this town at some point if we can. You know, help them out. You know, crashing this castle into the town would be the best. <laughs> <laughs> Probably wouldn't, smack. probably wouldn't help the town much, though. <laughs> thank smack, you, smack, thank smack, you for freeing us. Free oh my God! <laughs> Liberating this town from the cultists, cultists would be quite a boon. Yeah, I mean, but it doesn't sound like I mean this this guy that this captain. Uh, there's him. He's probably a guy running roughshod. Him and his army, and they're. They're they're friends of the cultists. They're hired by the cultists. They're not cultists themselves. So, I mean, I think even if we were to take the cultists down, we would still have to come back and defeat that guy, especially if he's got his his boot on the neck of the town people, the good townspeople. Sounds like he Parnass. does. Sounds like he he definitely has the you know his boot on the necks of these of these fine village folk. I'd like to ask Ragnar who runs the temple and. How reliable are they? The Shrine of Axes. Well, really, there's there's no one in charge. It's it's actually quite uh, quite run down as of late. There's, there's no I'm not no a man reason. of faith, so uh, especially what has happened over the last year, I I tend to stay away from the shrine, and just about everybody else does. That's pretty much why no one uh, goes there. Well, you guys, we could go talk to... I, I'm talking to the group here. We could go talk to Gundare, uh, the wheelsmith, and maybe he'll have something that we could use to help bring down the the, the town. True. The, the castle, not the town. That would be absolutely horrible. What do you guys think? Um, it would sound like he's he's. I mean, he he. he no friend of the cultist. Let's right. let's have a chat with him. Yeah, let's he'll him out he these guys. You're talking about the uh, the wheel rights, right? Yeah, we're we're talking yeah. about gun gun dare, I think. Yeah, gun dare. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a good idea. And hey, we're gonna go. Uh, yeah. So, uh, what? Do you, let's just travel together. You guys want to go take a look at gun dare now? Yeah, I'll, I'll pay for my Actually, I have some. 
business that I need to attend to myself before we go into the castle. So why don't you oh. guys go ahead and uh, investigate the wheel right, and then I'll, I'll meet you after that. All right, you'll probably have to get the bathroom key from Ragnar. <coughs> and here it is, and he, he pulls out a... He pulls out a uh, a pretty large You'll wooden probably plank. Probably have to bring the explanation for a me. Big, a big key on a bowling pin. Yeah, and it That's says so people don't it steal says it. Uh, there's t well actually right. it's a, it's a uh, there's a, sort of like a cupboard hanging on on the back of the of the bar on the wall there, and there is a a beautiful golden stein that's sitting on on a shelf in in a, in a it's like a like a glass box, and then there's a couple. Uh, signs that say buoys and dinghies and he grabs the dinghies board and it has a, a small skeleton key attached to it and he hands it to Tara. <laughs> it's out back. We keep it locked oh, no, up. Oh, thank you. That was just my my friend being, oh, being silly. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, well, I have, while I have Tara business to take care of is pretty general. It is, that is, especially because she came with us. I have funny us. business to take care of, then we would have known. Well, you know, while Tara takes care of business, let's let's wheel on over and talk to the, the wheel shop guy. Uh, That's right, Z just tell her to roll right over there when she's done with her business. Zelos, go ahead and guide us. Go ahead and guide our, our, our barrel icon. Let me see if I can <laughs> look up some information. Tara, what are you wanting to do really quick? Actually, I was going to see if there was how much time it would take to at least to describe one of these scrolls into my spell book, but I think it takes like an hour, so I was yeah, going to look it up. It would, uh, yeah, it would take quite a while. It takes uh, money and also uh, a certain amount of time, but if you are doing an evocation scroll, then the time is halved and the cost is halved because of your, your evocation right. benefit that you get. But Yeah, neither one of those are. I was trying to describe the suggestion spell. I, I think it's 50 really gold handy. per level of the spell. It is. Yeah. And the suggestion is level 2, so it's 100 gold. And then I think it's an hour of time. So, yeah, But I doubt, level, that, yeah. I doubt that they're going to be occupied for an hour. So instead of that, I look for a handsome guy in the bar that might look like he has like a coat or something like that that I can possibly swindle him out of. <laughs> sure, so you're basically going to steal the clothes off of some random guy's back of the no. town that you just were saying <laughs> how you really want to help them out. Gosh, they're under the boot of these guys. Let's help them out by stealing their freaking clothes. <laughs> Make it easy. Just pull a knife on him and tell him I want that. <laughs> so yeah, there's several. And while you're at it, uh, some good looking his, guys. His friends. <laughs> It'd be a bit of it to be good looking. All right. You have to have more than three teeth. <laughs> there's several good looking guys there. Average looking guys, good looking guys. I mean, there's no Real hotness roll. No Brad Pitts there or anything, or you know, or no no George Clooney's. Well, do, do they even look like they might like have a fur coat or something on them? They don't have a Some fur sort of cloak. Fur, <laughs> they they have traveling clo walking cloaks. Sure, they definitely have. Mostly everybody in this town has a walking cloak on. What is Krivgar doing? Has he got a flashlight in there, shining a flashlight around? I don't know, I don't know this man. Weird stuff. I don't know. I do that with my cat sometimes. He chases that dot around. Maybe Kribgar's just entertaining himself in the same way. So, <laughs> oh, I'm trying to find something on my desk. You can you can find one of the one of the patrons inside of the golden tankard. He tells you that he can he can run home and get you a cloak, uh, but he usually doesn't like to help your type. And he he walks out. He goes, if I don't help you. I'll end up disappearing anyway. So here, let me. In fact, uh, no. Let me. Let me give you my walking cloak. I'm so sorry. Here, and he takes his walking cloak off and gives it to you. She, she says, "No, no. It's okay. I do appreciate it. Thank you." And she tosses him. 10 I know gold. you do. Ten gold. Well. Yeah. Holy well, crap! Appreciate man. it. Wow, that's uh, pretty nice of you. Thank you. So maybe I not would, all of us are what we see. For that, he ought to show you the lost and found also. 
You should have got to be a cloak or two in the lost and found. Uh, you should have got some freaking fur pants for that. Are you here? Boots with the fur like, on. Go over to the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not there, Tiberius. I don't know if you're with these like the right guy. <laughs> Passless chaps. And... She's got the bird boots with the fur on. Boom, boom, boom. With the fur. I definitely put it on, kind of pull it around myself. Thank you so much. No problem. Okay, so you got a cloak. You know that they're going over to the wheelwright shop. And yep. you guys get over there to the wheelwright shop. I and there's a guy. The collar of the robe is inscribed. Uh, Stolen from Ragnar. <laughs> <laughs> there is a, an older gentleman. Not, not, I don't want to say older, but middle-aged gentleman. He's, he's out there using a, uh, a wooden mallet with a piece of cloth wrapped around it, beating on these wheels. Seems like he's trying to put wooden spokes and wheels. And then he uh, notices that you're there, and he stops what he's doing, and, and he asks you if you're here to uh, pick up the order. Are you here to pick up the order? What order? Why? No, 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 no. You don't say what order. You say yes. Yes, Gundare. We are definitely here to pick up the order. Okay. Uh, I'll be right back. I've got ten wheels out back, and if you can give me a... If you got another couple hands, uh, you can help me pull out the other ten from the other side of the building, uh, and you guys can... Uh, also, the, the total is going to be uh, about 20 gold. It's actually the, the, the best wheels that I've made in a long time with the best quality of wood. So uh, that was a total of 40 wheels that you ordered. I don't know what you guys are doing with all these wheels, but... I'm just about done. I, I think I'm just, you know, tuning up the last wheel here, and uh, I'll go get so start getting those wheels for you. And he starts going around and starts wheeling a couple wheels. You can see he's basically wheeling two wheels at a time to the front. Well, we better go. We better go help him wheel some wheels. <laughs> so Tiberius, will they're they're run buying over wheels. Hey, uh, gun there. Uh, I'll go ahead and help you wheel some of these wheels that you need wheeled. Sure. Uh, I don't see... You guys don't have a wagon that you're going to be putting these on? Uh, hold on. Hold that thought. Uh, guys, what'd you do with the uh, wagon? Okay, uh, am I missing something here? Well, we were going to... Uh, we were waiting for the wagon to get here. We were just going to wheel them up. We didn't know there'd be 40 of them. Well, you could just take your... You know, I'm not sure how long they're staying... But you may want to get those those castles. Resmir ordered, you know, uh, he she ordered those castles. Uh, she ordered the wheels to go to the castle. So the captain, uh, Orthelstan, he stopped by uh, almost a week ago, and you know, you guys got to get those wheels on on that ship. If if you don't get those wheels on the ship, that's my hide that's going to be tanned, and, and I'm sure yours probably won't be touched. So you need to get start getting those wheels. I don't care how you get those wheels, but just get them out of here. Uh, get uh, me the gold, and you guys can go ahead and and take off. Okay. Uh, you David, start you start rolling them up to the front here. We're gonna go have a chat with Orthel standing and see if we can we can get a wagon hey, and, and some draft horses for him. I'm not giving you my wagon. I don't have a wagon to give you. You you, you guys have taken everything that I already the, own. Going down to the stable and talk to Orthel Stan. And the get captain wagon of the guard? and horses from him. The captain of the guard, you bet. If he's if he wants to make sure these these uh wheels are getting up there, then he's got a wagon that we're gonna we're gonna be able to take him up to the, the castle in. Dave, I stay behind at the wheel shop to uh help the guy get the wheels out and right. ready to put on. He just is uh, uh, unbelievable. You guys are always so unprepared. This is uh, the worst business dealing that I've ever had to deal with in my life. I'd rather sell one yes, wagon wheel good. a year, like what I used to sell. I don't care about the money. You guys are just going to take it anyway. When the next batch of you comes running through. And then if I pay him the 20 gold. Okay. He, uh, walks, into his, he walks into his store for uh, about a minute, and then he comes back out. All right, so you guys eventually get uh, after about about five ten minutes, you you get you know all forty of the wheels, and he's banging that last wheel out vigorously, trying to get that last wheel done so he can get you guys out of here. 
Meanwhile, uh, the rest of you go to the Yeah, I was gonna say we may we may have a little problem here. Uh, you, problem. Krivgar, Zelos, do you guys want to go to the stables or get, see if you can get a wagon? Yes. Okay, I guess I'll go with him. All right. He's so I guess over to the who's got shot. the banner? Yeah, you see Krivgar and Silverclaw walking north, sort of like towards the towards the stables there, as as you're kind of heading over across the the way there to the the wheelwright shop. Silverclaw, Krivgar, you get to the stables. There's uh, Wait, I several. Zelos. Uh, Zelos. Okay, is it Zelos and Z Zelos and Silverclaw? You're staying there, Krivgar. Yeah. No. I've... No, it's Zelos and Krivgar. Okay, you two are gone. Okay, so Zelos and Krivgar, you're going to the stables. Silverclaw, Correct. you're staying back. Terra arrives at the stables. I'm sorry, Terra arrives at uh, at the wheelwright shop, and Tiberius is there trying to smooth things things over. I'm sure, in a in a typical elf fashion. So, okay, so Zelos, <laughs> you get to you get to the. Uh, you get to the stables. There are several several guards out front, and, then, and they uh, look at you, extend their arms, and what's the words? Guys, well, I ain't got all days. No, really, guys? Really? He and Matt are mother and strength. Ah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. Tiamat, mother and strength. Absolutely. What are you here for? We would like to visit with the <laughs> captain. We need a wagon to take wheels from the from the wheel shop to the castle. No, the, the, the captain's not here. What, what, you said you need a wagon? We need a wagon. We've got 40 wheels to move the castle. Oh, the wheels are done. We wants them immediately. Oh, she does. I I haven't seen uh haven't seen Resmir uh, today. She, is she here in town? Of course not. Then she doesn't. How did she wheels. tell you? We collect wheels. <clears throat> well, absolutely. I'm just wondering. I mean, no no need to get offended. I mean, I'll I'll praise to you, man. Go get go back. Get the uh. We'll get the uh, the horse saddled up. We'll get it uh, attached to the cart, and, and you can get those wheels on the on the castle. Because I think uh, Skyreach is fixing to leave here in the next couple hours. Maybe even sooner. Right. We need to move along. All right, so about five minutes goes by, and uh, a stable a stable hand comes around with the with the cart. And this thing looks like it's got one one wheel that's got like a flat spot on it, so you can see it kind of <laughs> bouncing once in a while. Boom. Oh, jeez. Uh, so What's you can see why they're wheel? see why they already ordered forty wheels. <laughs> they, they got a bunch <laughs> of bad wagons. <laughs> <laughs> and the wheel like ride only makes one wheel a year. Give me a break. <laughs> okay. Is this the only cart you are got here? This is the only one that's got working wheels on it. Absolutely. The rest of them are on Stormreach. Well, it's, uh, Skyreach. I'm sorry. Wrong campaign setting. I was thinking about <laughs> Eberron. <laughs> Sorry about that. We I was thinking of a whole other world. We take the stable men. We take the lead rope and 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 we take the wagon. We head for the wheel ride. Thump thump. Okay. Thump. You head thump, back thump. over to uh. Yeah. Thump, thump. It's exactly thump, thump. what it sounds like. It's like so you get back over to the like wheel ride. Running over people. This is uh great. Running this wagon. I didn't. Make sure you stack those wheels good because they'll fall off from the from the flat wheel bumping. I fixed that damn wheel about three or four times, but. You guys just keep breaking it. I, I ain't fixing it anymore. You're on your own. Is there rope in this if wagon so we can tie the wheels down? Yeah, there's least? rope there. Yeah. Maybe if we used a chisel to cut the wheels flat, they could stand up better. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. Uh, putting a square wheel on the wagon. Anyway. We are on the Isle of Misfit Toys. All right, so all of the the wheels are loaded up, and 
you know this Tied this down. guy seems like he can't get rid of you quick enough. That's just the that's the impression that you get from from the wheelwrights. You just can't get rid of him. Fa he just can't get rid of you fast enough. Does anybody want to try to gain his confidence, or we're we just <clears throat> gonna gonna clear his establishment? Yeah, let's just clear his establishment. We have our way in. I think I walk up we to have the guy with my new cloak on, kind of snuggling it around me. Okay, what's the? How's it going, guys? Oops. Pretty good. How's that with those hair pants? Well, you can't say I'm not resourceful. So what are we up to? No, we can't wheels. say you are furry. Well, well, you can see that we were loading wheels onto this wagon. Well, it looks like you're doing a fine job. Carry on. Bump, bump. Bump, bump. Bump, Love bump. Bump, bump. bump, bump. Love the sound effects. Bump, bump. The wagon. Come on, get us up to the castle. I'm getting tired of the thump, bump. <laughs> the barrel moving. I love bump, bump. it. Bump, bump. Reminds bump, me of the bump, telltale bump, heart. Bump. Bump, thump, bump, bump. Bumpity bump, bump, thump. All right, so you get to the entrance of the castle. <laughs> There's about a, a dozen guards. There's also several other wagons uh, that were, you know, uh, near the brush. And because, of, you know, the, the fog is pretty thick here, and it looks like they're they're moving more things into in the storm reach. It looks like just basic supplies. It doesn't look like any of those any of those crates or chests that you guys were boxing up back in the mirror of dead men. Doesn't doesn't look like any kind of crates like that. All so, hail Tiamat. No just, no. You know, that's my Tiamat our yes. strength and our mother. All hail Tiamat uh, Tiamat our mother and strength and hail to Blagothkus as well. You may pass. Good to see the lodges joining us in our travels today. And he kind of looks up at your at your banner. Good to see that the lodge is representing themselves today. You may enter. I give him a big old smile. Just in case. <laughs> and Dave, as we're walking on the bridge, I'm going to look down into the ravine and sort of get the mm -hmm. idea for how deep it is and how big those statues are and sort of anything, uh, the, any information. The giant yeah. statues are, are probably a little bit bigger than giant size. Now, as for the ravine, uh, it looks like it's probably about 100 to 200 feet down. And then there's different, you know, there's different depths of it. As a, as you guys were back towards the lodge, there were several deeper parts of the ravine and several more shallow parts of the ravine. Does the castle dip and wiggle as we climb aboard with it, our forty it, wheels? It it does not. No, you can't even you can't even tell. It seems like you're on on stable ground. This is the Titanic, folks. <clears throat> what about sound? Is the castle making any kind of special sound or creaking? What, what kind so of animals are? Um, I want to I want to look around and get an idea of what this frost castle. What kind of animals and stuff are around here? Anything? Oh, that sounds good. I'm I'm glad you asked that. So we are going to go ahead and take our break now, our early break, and as we come back, then we will go ahead and continue inside of the ground level. Of Skyreach Castle, so let's uh, take the about the Castle a, of Death. death. <laughs> <laughs> let's take about a ten-minute break, and and I'll be back uh, pretty soon. <laughs> 